Good afternoon. I'd like to start by taking you on a little journey. I want you to imagine that you're an alien from another planet, and you've been put on Earth to discover what it's like to be human. You can choose whatever town, whatever city you want to live in, and what age you want to enter. The scene is going to look like any typical human of that age, and not like a creature from the closest planet. And before you can make any of these decisions, you can do some undercover investigating. Pretty quickly, it become apparent that you may not want to enter this planet at an older age. Right? You see lots of images of healthy people, but very few of them. You can see an older adult. You see an ad for Peloton featuring, the, featuring this young, beautiful, fit trainer who is taking her virtual class of spinners for good reason because they all want to aspire to be as fit and beautiful. Personally, I could spin for 12 hours a day, and I would never look like a Peloton trainer. Next, you walk down the street, and you see signs in restaurants for early bird specials, right? For people who want to eat before 5 o'clock, so you can be in bed before 8 o'clock. I saw some of you last night at the restaurant. It's true. It's true. And then you get home, and you turn on the TV, and lo and behold, you see an ad that you're going to from wearing the best Medicare coverage that you can get. Well gone are the days of Broadway Joe when he was promoting Ruth Aftershave by Robert Day. And finally, you turn on Saturday Night Live and you capture this hilarious skit for the new Amazon Echo Silver. That's funny because it makes fun of old people. Right? That's what happens. Next, you wander into your local Walgreens or CVS and you stumble upon the aging section. And this wide array, wide variety of products for people who are dealing with some of the challenges of aging. Now, I've been fortunate enough that I haven't had to use one of these male urinals, urinals or one of the commodes. But by looking at how happy this couple is, I might just give it a try. Right? And you can't help but miss those hilarious birthday cards that make looking like you're, you're going to be 67 or 80, how much joy you can have. And then, of course, you can't help but miss the whole section of adult diapers, right? It's not a funny matter because there are about 20 million Americans, older adults, who deal with incontinence, and adult diapers enable them to kind of do a lot of things they want to do. But you also know if you wear one, there's got to be a better way. So I actually experimented a few months ago, true story, and I went out and got some adult diapers. So let me tell you about my experience. First, open up, you cannot tell which way is the front or the back. I think that's kind of important for this product. And then when you put it on, it feels like you're wearing dried up cardboard. You know that cardboard that you know, recycling that sits outside and gets wet and all soggy and then it dries up? That's what it feels like. And most importantly, you do not know, there's no instructions on how much you can urinate into this. To me, that's the most important thing. So I think, I think there has to be a better way. I'm sorry, I'm giving this to you because I saw you drink a lot of coffee outside before. And then finally, you get to sit in on a dinner party with people in their 60s or 70s. And I'm sure if you're in there, you've lived this. The talk is about your aches and pains and health issues that you're dealing with. It's depressing. It's not the most, the most pleasant answer. On the other hand, you see how much society loves kids, right? You see these images of young people without care in the world. They're all happy. All they worry about is what they're going to wear, who they're going to hang out with, and what they're going to drink. Oh, to be young again. So if you're this alien, it's not likely you're going to pick an older age. You're probably going to pick someone in your 20s, early 30s, which is depressing for a guy like me because apparently there's not a lot to live for as you get older, right? In five months and two weeks, or 166 days to be exact, I'm going to turn 60. I know that it's tough to believe given how really good I am at my age, right? But it's true. But unlike a lot of my 59-year-old counterparts, I'm not dreading it. I'm actually looking forward to it. 
And let me tell you why. I spent a lot of my working hours trying to understand older adults and why companies either ignore older consumers like me or they stereotype us in that marketing efforts. And I've learned that, yes, society does have a bias for you, and there is this general fear of getting older, which I call phobia. But the latest research, research shows that maybe we've got it all wrong. Maybe we've got this backwards. Maybe getting older is actually a better time of life than it is when you're younger. But why does this matter anyway? It's because as a society, we're getting older and there's no stopping it. Today, there's about 110 million people, 55 and older, in North America. And they compromise, we compromise, 30% of the population. So chances are, if you look to the person to your left, or the person to right, one of you, the society is 55 and older. In the year 2050, 36% of the population will be 55 and older. And in 2100, a staggering 42% of the population is going to be 55 and older. Crazy. So if I was doing this presentation in about 75 years, about this much of the audience would all be 55 and older. Crazy. Crazy. The aging today is different than it was. And if you believe kind of the media, you believe that, oh, an older population is not good for society, right? It means higher dependence, increased medical costs, and lower productivity, right? There's not a lot of upside to that society when you're older. But aging today is very different than it was to your grandparents, and likely, potentially, to your parents as well. Right? Aging today is different, and the quicker that we recognize this, and so this, the better it is for individuals and as a society. And there's four kind of things for, for great reasons why getting older um, is good for society. I'm going to tell you about The first is, believe it or not, you can actually find greater happiness as you get older. Now, that's not true for everyone, but there's a belief out there, a myth, that getting older is pretty depressing. Like, there's not a lot to look for. We call this, this myth one foot in the grave. And again, that might be true for some people. But research has shown that there's actually increased happiness as you get older. And the research is something called the U curve of happiness. And global studies have shown that people are actually happier, increased happiness after midlife. And happiness decreases before midlife, and it actually is at its lowest point in the early 40s, and then it rises and peaks right before death. So I know there's some people here in their 40s and younger, and I hate to tell you, but things are going to get pretty bad on the happiness level for a while, right? But then what happens is that happiness increases. And you think about kind of people in their, their, their 40s and what happens, and again, research, research has shown there's a lot of stress going on at that period, right? There's these constant demands for your performance in whatever you do. There is pressure, stresses on caring for children and often adults. And also there's these constant comparisons, comparisons against your peers and ideas. Right? But that's something that actually happens as you get older after good life. Your life experiences, natural occurring changes to your body and your mind mean that your priorities shift. It's less about social competitions and more about social connections. And your priorities shift to savoring life Love and enjoying the moment. Those are three pretty ingredients, three pretty good ingredients to great happiness. The second great thing about getting older is it's an opportunity to explore new things and maybe try new things. Over 40% of active agents enjoy trying new things and want to try new experiences as well. And thriving adults, and I know there's a lot of you in this room, don't see getting older as an end or barrier to life. You use what you have, what you've done, and use that as a springboard to try new things. Take pickleball as an example. I think, again, I saw some of you on the pickleball course yesterday. Right? The fastest growing sport in the country, but 35 million people are playing in it, and that's driven by older adults, many of whom have never even picked up a racket before their parents and their play. That's not surprising because it is a fun, social, easy to play sport. It's physical and inclusive, and it's a great way to help people live longer, healthier, and happier lives. And hands up if you ever gone skydiving. Anyone here ever gone skydiving? A couple of you, right? 
On my 55th birthday, my wife and son gifted me with a skydiving experience. It was, without a doubt, the biggest rush of my life. It was unbelievable. They waited until I was 55 to have a good experience. But did you hear about Dorothy Hoffman? Dorothy recently became the oldest person in the world to do a tandem jump at the age of 104. Unbelievable. She's done for 104. Unfortunately, sadly, Dorothy passed away a few weeks ago, but she died peacefully in her sleep. When I think about how I want to go, if I could do something that gives me this huge rush, a sense of joy, happiness, and then die peacefully in my sleep, that's the way I'd like to go. The third thing I think about getting older is that you can be productive and continue to give back to society. I've seen no research that shows that productivity declines as you get older. And this desire to continue to give back and give back just to your community as you live, right? That could be learning new skills, it could be volunteering, it could be taking care of people in your family. There's also a lot of active agents who are still working for a part time. And did you know? But the long term trend towards early retirement is actually increasing. It's estimated that 150 million jobs globally are going to move to people 55 and older by the year 23. So, again, older adults, active adults, don't look as getting older as a, a less productive time. In fact, there's a lot of opportunity to give back to society in the ways that we've been before. The last big thing about getting older is it's an opportunity to take time to focus on your physical and mental health. And there's a lot of self denial going on. I hear it all the time, but the reality is there's going to be changes happening to our body and mind as we get older. There's no denying that. But by focusing on the right things, taking the right action, we can actually improve our physical and mental health as we get older. The research we've done shows the majority of older adults of active agents feel really good about their current health state. Over 80% are working out intentionally on a regular basis, and about 90% feel really good about their mental health. It's no wonder that some of my most interesting and inspiring friends in their 80s and 90s are showing a few signs of slowing down. So back to my 60th birthday, which is happening in five months to weeks, so 166 days. I am looking forward to my future self and embracing all the amazing things that they have to bring. Am I going to have challenges? I'm forcing an ask challenges. We all are. But I plan on tackling those challenges head on so I can continue to do the things that I want to do. That includes having stronger and healthier relationships now than I did when I was younger. I don't need to hang out with people that bring me down. I don't need that anymore. I want to be with people who inspire me, who will make me feel good, and bring me joy in my life. It means that I can focus on my physical health by doing the right things on a consistent basis and also being able to eat food that's not only delicious, but healthy. It means that I can really focus on keeping my mental health sharp by continuing to learn, develop, and grow, and with a constant state of curiosity, which is the reason why we're all here today. And finally, and most importantly, last but not least, I so look forward to all the amazing savings I can get by using my food. As a society and individuals, we need to stop battling, aging, and embracing. I don't want to live a life where I'm going to live a longer life, but I'm going to be in poor health and lower quality of life. No one wants that, right? Our goal should be to have a longer lifespan than a flat and limited living period. That means living a longer life that isn't made up of a slow decline in health over time until you die, to living a longer life where there is a loss in health really quickly and you die. Time of life can't be We need to embrace aging. And that's not about helping people feel younger. It's about helping people get older and inspiring joyful so, if you're six or older, I really hope you are already embracing all the amazing things about getting older. If you're not there yet, I hope you'll join me in really looking forward to this incredible time of life, which uh, I think is going to be incredible. So, life does not have to suck. Thank you very much.